Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best priced couples travel trailers in the entire RV industry. This is the 2023 Primetime Avenger Model 21 RBS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Avenger and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you the Primetime Avenger, a great price point couples travel trail. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going? It's going good, guys. Sorry I got the sunglasses on. It's still warm and sunny down here in Florida for winter. But um, I'm excited to take a, a look at this Avenger. Again, it's very simple, um, but with a lot of nice features, different floor plan and everything, so I'm excited. Me too, Will. Let's begin. All right. Model is Avenger 21 RBS. The actual tip tip length is 27 feet 7 inches. The dry weight is 5,209 pounds and the hitch weight is 773 pounds. Well, this is the Primetime Avenger. Yep. You guys know we sell Primetime at all 14 of our locations and the Avenger is their best price point unit. Right. Power tongue jack here, propane tank goes here, and your batteries go there. Cool. Right here, this is entry level, which means it is aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. Yep. Okay. Coming on down the side here, we have very nice storage. Wow. That connects all the way through to the bed that underneath. That is awesome. I love that. Manual stabilizing jacks. Okay. And then a very nice power awning with LED lights. There you go. And again, you see the general sticker, best value, because dollar for dollar, this one's going to go the furthest farthest. All right. Coming on down here. We have solid steps. To nice. Get in I love the travel that. Trailer. Place for you to leash up your dogs. Also, it's a beer opener. America. John Cena. There you go. And then you do have a nice grab handle there. Speakers on the outside, power on the outside. And then look at these tires. Well, they're trailer kings. I love those. ST205 75 R14 with the Dexter axles there. Okay. Very nice. And then here's another place for you to leash up your furry friend. Coming around the back, we do have an outdoor shower, spare tire, spare tire carrier, bumper for the stinky slinky, prep for the uh, lipper fold up ladder. Okay. And it's also prepped for a Furion backup camera. There you go. Wrapping it up, oh, Will. And 30 amp on the back here. There you go. Almost right over here. It. City water connection and cable right there. And then we have a 10 gallon DSI water heater. And then right underneath there, that is where we dump our black and gray tank. There you go. Finishing up, Sir William. Mm-hmm. All right. Right here's our potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Black tank flush right there. Very nice. And then nice. here, the other side of that storage. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the Avenger looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. All right. Starting up front is the bedroom. Then in the middle is your living area, dining area, and kitchen. And then in the back is the bathroom. Where do you want to start today? Well, we're going to start right up front, but first we got to big, give a big shout out to Lipper. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back. You can relax it. You can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. 
Great Will, we're starting inside in this front bedroom area. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. You go over there, check out that storage. Yeah, great storage up top here. And all the way across. Same thing over there. Yes, sir. Power and USB down there. Uh, there sure is. Okay. And then I love how you have these cubbies and spaces yeah. over here. Power and USB on this side as well. Really nice queen size bed. Check out the bedroom. You got this for the balances. Cool, TV could go there. You got your TV backer. And remember from the outside, Will. Yeah, you can access the storage from either side. Love that. All right, coming on through. You actually have, it's a little tight there. Yeah. But you do have a door for privacy. Nice. Okay. And then again, in, in floor plans like this, you're either getting a sofa or a dinette. This one, they schematic it. So you get both, which is very nice. So first, let's show you that storage there. Okay, same thing over here. Yes, sir. Here's the blinds. It's the uh, cloth wood look. Right, the wrapped wood. Wrapped wood, yes. And then here's the sofa, Will. This just jackknifes down, I'll show everybody that. But I'll tell you, for price point unit, this is a really nice sofa. It really is, yeah. So many times they give you the crap sofas with the arms that just yeah. fall off. I, I don't like that. And then, just jackknifes, just like that. There you go. And then over here, Will. Very awesome, big and nice U-shaped dinette. Yep. Absolutely love that. There's storage underneath there. Okay, same thing over here. And then, Will, this is so nice and comfortable. And if you do have a, somebody that goes with you, it's so much better to drop this down to make a bed than for somebody to sleep on right. the smaller sofa. You got the light fixture there. And then windows over here, none over there, but the windows do slide open a good amount to let in a lot of natural light. There you go. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I can't stop talking like a New Yorker right now. <laughs> MSRP on this travel trailer here is $40,102. There you go. MSRP. Sale price, Jen, please make the sale price appear right here. We don't know what it is right now, but by the time you're watching it, we should have the sale price there. Yeah. And Will, I don't know what that sale price is, but what I do know is General sells these at all 14 locations. So I know we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. So if you're interested in this unit, all you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked that down in the description below. You can get to it via our website, mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Get in contact with our team, guys. Let them know you watch Matt's RV Reviews and we're going to get everybody the absolute best price in America. That's right. Will, show us his kitchen. All right. We'll start right over here up top. Nice storage there. Will, I can't stop talking like a New Yorker. <laughs> nice window here on your camping side. Let in some nice uh, natural light, fresh air. A little bit of countertop space. Oh. Storage there. Nice big single bowl sink. And then you got some drawers here and there. And then storage underneath the sink right there. Very nice. Nice little Greystone microwave right there. All right. Nice Greystone range hood there. Hood range. And you got a decent backsplash there. I think it's like a plastic, yeah. And then a three burner Greystone cooktop mm. with oven right here. Yes, sir. And then a drawer for pots and pans underneath. Nice. Next to that is the Ever Chill refrigerator. This is a compressor fridge. So it works off of propane or, or no, it only works off of electricity. You sure got that well. And then what's going on behind you? Right here is the TV backer. So you can put a TV for like your living area. Mm -hmm. And it is right across from the um, sofa, but it's a little far away, but you got your sound system, um, speakers and everything. I love it. And they're not giving you the TV to save money. Correct. Of course. Yeah. And then we'll check out that shower. Okay. Well, I don't know about this one. Mm. Yep, this is not good. Okay. How do you feel there, Will? Very tight. I will say your hair looks fresh. Yeah. But unfortunately, does that pass? No. That does not pass the shower test seal of approval. Not for Big Will. Nope. We got a medicine cabinet there. Oh, with a liquefy. There you go. Nice, get our brand of RV toilet treatment. Yes. Right there, it fits Storage. perfectly. And then we have a little sink right there with medicine um, cabinet above and then storage there. And then Sir William. Okay. You do this. 
huge storage right, right there. Is that washer dryer prepped? It looked like it, but no, it's no. not. Okay. Come on out. Okay. Do a little switcheroo. Which I don't even know why we're doing the switcheroo. I know. Because well, it's a plastic toilet. I know. <sighs> this is not a prime pooping position. Wap 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 wap. Okay. But it's all good, Will, because again, this is an amazing travel trailer at an amazing price point. The perfect starter camper for couples. Yeah. Now, before everybody leaves, Will, that's it. That's the review. It's time to give people three things we love about this camper, three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? You want to do likes first? Uh, yes. Okay. First and foremost, I love this big U shaped dinette. I do too. It's really nice. It's a good size, especially for a trailer like this. That's number one. If you don't mind, I like to go again. Okay. I'm going to say the layout in here. Right. Guys, you got to remember this is a very small travel it trailer. Is. And you don't normally get a bedroom, a sofa, and, and a dinette. A dinette yeah. So to get all that here and to have privacy to the bedroom area, yep. that's kind of huge as well. That's number two. What's number. Num What's number three? Number Give three us number three. Is gonna be even though it is um definitely like more of a price point trailer entry level, the finishes in here are still really nice. Mm. Everything feels put together really well. They didn't do the weird slide out, you know, right. step. It just it feels like, hey, I want a smaller trailer, but something that's still built really well. Right. Like, hey, I wanna save money, but I don't want crap. Right. Like I feel like right. I'm trying to achieve balance. that. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Okay. I need you to go first. Okay. Well, I don't want to steal the big one. No, you're not. Okay. Oh, wait, you are. Yeah. See, I thought you were looking at the carpet. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, no, we can say that too. Do that, do that okay. first. Yeah, the carpet. Dislike number here, one. For sure, the carpet. Um, Especially under the dinette. Right. Like, if they put some carpet in the bedroom, I'd probably let it slide, but... You guys know food and carpet doesn't mix. Right. I mean, I'm going to drop a tater tot with ketchup on it. Yes. That's know. just like number one. We'll go ahead for number two. Number two is this bathroom. And it's actually very frustrating. In a trailer this size, you do not need this much storage right. dedicated What's up with to that? the bathroom. And had they made a washer dryer prep, maybe. But nobody Even wants then, that in like, this. Nobody wants that in this. Yeah. They could have made the bathroom bigger and better. Yeah, they could have put the toilet over there. They could have shifted this over, made a much bigger shower. Could have given you everything. a porcelain toilet. Yeah, everything would have been much better. So That's number two. And then, well, do you have a number? Oh, I do have a number three. Okay. As much as I love the fact that you're getting a private master bedroom, this area is very tight. It is, yeah. Like, literally, my le back of my, it's not my stomach, y'all. Literally, the back of my leg is touching. Everybody's going to need to do this. I agree. Which is a pain in the butt for the person sleeping on that side. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. Wow. Very short yeah, and very was. sweet. But again, not a lot going on. And we're, you know what, Will? We're not going to stretch this out for 20 minutes just to. I hear we're you. We're going to make sure that we hit all the points. Get to it. Get to it and show you guys a great trailer. And if you guys are interested in buying this great trailer, please. Oh, we forgot the MSRP. That's no, we did do the MSRP. Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah. If you guys are ready to buy this RV, all you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get to it via mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us because we're going to get you the absolute best price in America. Will, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, this is such a great trailer. If you're looking for something small, you don't want to tow something really big, but you want to get off, you know, get out of tent camping. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.